Welcome my dear students to this second video. In this video we are going to create a simple code and learn how to execute this code. Uh, before that uh, we can see here that I have the project pane here on the right side of the screen and I can uh, hide this project pane or show it in the left side of the window okay now let us create or write some simple script print hi there okay now if you want to execute this code you need just to click on this button but uh, you can see that this button is not enabled so you cannot click it you can see here that uh, PyCharm telling something, uh, telling add configuration. This is because you are trying to execute this file, name, which is named as file2.py for the first time. So for the first time, you need to go to run, then run, okay, select the uh, file, okay, now the file is executed and this is the result and i can see that i have a new tab here named as run to show the result of the file okay now the configuration has been added automatically and next time if i want to run this file i need only to click on this button okay uh, just beside the run type, I have the terminal, which is take me to the uh, Windows prompt, Windows CMD. I think you remember this application. You can, for example, write dir just to see the directory or the uh, files. And uh, by default, it, it, it took me to the folder that uh created to my project which is second project and i can see that i have only one file named as uh, file2.py okay beside the terminal i have the python console the python console which is we call it the terminal you can see here i have a trouble greater than signal and it waits for me to write any command. For example, let me write for 5 plus 2. The result is showed as 7. So this is the conversation that we talked about in the, uh, in the PowerPoint. So if you want to write a program, you need to create a new file in your project which is .py file and write the code or python secret in the file then click on execute to run the file and if you want to make a conversation with the python interpreter you want to open the python console tab okay thank you very much and see you in the next video